So I played about 30 games on Untap, and I learned a lot about cards. Oh, I know, don't come at me. I, I know, I know, but this is the first time I ever used it outside of Invoker. And there are some things I learned just by playing against players around the world. Intro. I'm just up in my sway, stay in my bag, I got plenty for days. Chief in that I don't come with no haze. Drew y'all on me, it wet like a tray. I did it to pay, no all the steppers, no kidding to play. Look at my team, see all of us made. Came a long way for minimum wage. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Evan you seven here back with another video. And today I it really been on my mind since my captain put me on untap. Well, he's been on me about it for a while, but I actually finally got on it. Sorry about that, Captain. But there's something I learned about being on Untap. I understand, and we all understand as Dragon Ball fans, that when you get on Untap, you are in the hyperbolic time chamber. That's that's the true meaning of training. That's the true meaning of practicing. You know, ever since I retired, oh, Invoker, and don't get me wrong, I'm still, you know, collecting Invoker cards. But ever since I got off of the OG Invoker train, until Bandai decided to print some stuff anyway playing vegeto i learned to understand how vegeto works now my uh my i'm gonna say my cousin my uh my teammate tz has a full max power vegeto deck and the more i learned to play vegeto untap against certain decks man it's more than just and i i know i'm late i know i am late there's more to the game this game than just playing a secret rare and there's more to this game than just victory strike See, for a very long time, and probably to recently, I was still dwelling on the turn five, awaken power, turn five, apex of power. But in this game, there's a certain level of strategies. And even, I don't know if you guys saw my my um, my match between my teammate Trenton Beerus against Vegito. He was actually teaching me more stuff. And, and it's just, it's one of those things you have to pick on. What I'm saying is that this game is more in debt than it used to be. I actually enjoy getting on Untap now than I ever did in my life. Untap has allowed me to understand cards that I never thought I would, would play. It, it opens up your mind to a bigger strategy. I know I'm a late bloomer. I'm a late, late bloomer. But that's the really that's the key to, to getting good. I know I'm two years behind for saying this. It's, it's, I know, having you seven, what's wrong with you? It, 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 it's a shame. It's embarrassing to be honest. To be honest with you, what I'm saying is that the more reps I get in with Vegito, I understand how Vegito works. There's, there's this 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 muse, this ultra intense concentration that you have when you know what your cards do in that exact moment. Even at practice last Saturday, I played well to a certain degree. Still got a lot of work to do. But one thing, like this this some of the this some of the the decks that I played, I put I'm taking notes on this. There's some of the decks that I played um that taught me to be a better player. And even the people I played against are really good. It was Jank decks and Roll decks. And I did play Green Gohan. I did come across a Gogeta Burst Blue deck. Um, Android 18, which I lost. I played against Yamcha. I played against Super Saiyan 2 Trunks Envoy of Justice Returns. Do not sleep on that deck. And then I played against, of course, you know, BT1 Golden Frieza. I played against Cumber um, in Green Raditz. But in, in outside of all of these these leaders, I understand that, like you say, it all comes down There's to certain the cards that you need to look out for. It's, it's teaching me through Untap, and I'm, I'm thankful for it. I see cards differently. I see um, my plays differently. And of course, when I go out to the battlefield to fight, is a whole different spectrum. You get what you put in. And I make a lot of mistakes with this, but it's helping me understand this game. This, this, this game. This isn't the Awakened Power card game. This is Dragon Ball Super card game. This isn't the Invoker card game. This is Dragon Ball Super card game. Shout out to No underscore Cap. He actually, you know, I was, I was, we was playing against each other on Untap. We was playing against each other on Untap. He made a comment on the, I mean, not playing Invoker, but and it felt really good because it's like in a way I got a certain level of his respect, which really felt good because I started to see from a bigger perspective. The game is getting better. Um, if you want to. Uh, battle on untap let me know at um, just having you seven 
I'm on there a lot. I've been, I've been, I met a few fans too. There's, there's a lot of kind words, kind stuff. Um, but I'm here to play. I'm here to get better. I'm here to get stronger. Win or lose, we are learning. All right, I just have to go on this rant of Dragon Ball because I love Dragon Ball. But anyway, talk to y'all later. The Lord loves you. Bye. Most relevancy held within these walls. Wait, before you go, make sure to follow Evan U7 on Instagram at Evan U7 Glover. Bye. Oh, oh, and this bitch going crazy.